hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make a quick and easy and delicious and creamy hummus recipe without tahini <laughs> To make it, you'll need one teaspoon of garlic, one can of chickpeas, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, half a teaspoon of coriander, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of salt. I'm using garlic and herb seasoning. First, we're gonna open a can of chickpeas. Unfortunately, we don't have a can of no, we did once in our lives, but I guess people do shopping in our house. So I'm gonna show you how to do it the African way. You just need a knife. You need to find a place to place the knife. Bang. Go with the knife. Please, if you're clumsy, I don't advise you do this. It's for us strong people. We're gonna reserve some of our chickpea water, known as aquafaba, just a little bit, and then we're gonna drain the rest. We're gonna chop this part, okay? This part. Stop it. <laughs> now that we have our rinsed chickpeas, we're going to add that to the blender. We're going to add in one and a half teaspoons of cumin. A teaspoon of garlic, each teaspoon. The garlic is according to how much you like, so I I'm gonna adjust it according to how much garlic flavor I want. And instead of adding salt, we'll be using this garlic and herb seasoning because the herb is also nice. About half a teaspoon of that. Then we're gonna try and get some juice out of our lemon. thick and that is why we reserved our aquafaba put some in to loosen it up a bit five teaspoons
at this point but um, if you want it a bit more smoother and creamier then blend it for a bit longer and I want it a bit smoother not too thick um, it's not too loose which I like and we still have some reserved aquafaba in here you can use this actually as an egg white substitute if you blend it um, in the high speed blender it becomes like an egg white substitute and you can use it in cakes to make your cakes fluffier you can do a lot with this liquid you can also just add it in here if you want now we're gonna pour it out into a bowl Here's my snack. I'm obviously not going to finish all this hummus, but I could and I'm tempted to have it with some carrots. Mm. You could even spice it up and change it up. You can put less lemon if you don't like as much lemon. More garlic, less salt, more olive oil. It's all up to you. Um, there's many different flavors of hummus that I like to make. Sometimes I like making beet hummus where I add about half a small you treat in the hummus and make it a nice beautiful pinkish purplish color you can add roasted carrots in it you can add roasted red pepper there's just a lot that you can do with it you can even add chili to it to make it spicy um so that's my way of making homemade hummus i hope that you make this for yourself um especially in these times where you can't easily go to the shops you can make your own things at home and enjoy Thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoy and I hope that you are able to make your own hummus now and able to follow this very easy, simple and delicious recipe. Thank you. Bye bye.